What's the best treatment for my acne scars? I had cystic acne eight years ago and took Accutane for half a year, and that left me with a face full of scars. Besides the atrophic scars, I also have hard scar tissues that are slightly above the surface but not noticeable. However, I can feel them when I touch them with my fingers, and they help to form creases when I smile or laugh. They are slightly above the corners of my mouth. I am looking for best treatments to diminish the overall scar appearance. No fillers. Thanks. Thank you for your question. You've submitted two photos and you state in your question that eight years prior that you had severe cystic acne. You took Accutane for six months and you state that you are now left with multiple pitted scars as well as some hard scar tissue below the skin. And you're looking for some guidance as to how to improve your appearance and you're not interested in fillers. Well, I can certainly give you some guidance as to how I approach patients like yourself and acne scar situations in general in my practice. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I have essentially a full series of options that are available to my patients that I ultimately customize to each individual's needs and we treat a lot of people with acne scars. Now you made one specific statement, you don't want fillers. So if we take fillers off the table, it is with an understanding that you are restricting some opportunity with the use of traditional fillers. A lot of times people come to us with the same request and there's a variety of reasons. Very often it's because they feel fillers are expensive and two is that they just have a, a challenge with pr uh, having the time to come in for those treatments regarding in, in, in reference to just having the time to come in for fillers. So to begin with understanding the different types of acne scars helps guide any doctor in how to optimize the results of a patient with acne scars. So to begin with, we'll start with where fillers actually fit and what we use as a filler substitute. We, when it comes to acne scars, a type of scar called rolling scars and atrophic scars are best managed with fillers. These are the scars that appear to improve when you pull the skin on stretch and they soften up which means there's kind of room to work with underneath. When someone has that type of situation and they understand that although they don't want fillers but they want volume, the options that we provide them include fat grafting, which means harvesting fat from one place and put, placing them in the face, in, under the skin, within the skin, as well as platelet-rich plasma platelet-rich fibrin matrix. Very often, because of logistics, people choose platelet-rich plasma, platelet-rich fibrin matrix as the first line because fat grafting is a surgical procedure and does require a certain amount of operating room time. What we do with platelet-rich plasma and platelet-rich fibrin matrix, which, just to give you an, a brief explanation, this is derived from your own blood. So for people who want something, something all natural, well, it couldn't be more natural than when it come, coming from yourself. But from your blood, we're able to concentrate the growth factors and the healing factors that naturally stimulate collagen production as part of the healing process. And when it comes to scar tissue, improving vascularity in blood vessels is also a benefit. We have used PRP for acne scars as well as to soften scar tissue. Platelet-rich fibrin matrix is a little bit different in that it's PRP that's activated so that it's made into a kind of a gel. That gel acts like a time-release capsule um, so that it, it allows even more platelet um, fa growth factors and other things to be released in a specific way so you get both the correction short-term from the gel and then you get some correction from the replacement of that gel 
with your body's own tissue. It's not the same as getting hyaluronic acid fillers, but certainly it is something that's palatable for people who don't want fillers. From the other side of that comes what, what we can do to help release any scar tissue, and that's a procedure called subcision. And that's basically releasing scar tissue from underneath the skin and letting the skin elevate, providing room for platelet-rich plasma, platelet-rich fiber matrix. Lastly, there is some type of ablative strategy that is often beneficial, particularly for boxcar scars. These are scars that have very sharp defined edges and generally when doing a, a laser we try to soften the edges of those scars and then blend the skin so that the skin heals smoothly and there's improvement. Last of course there is also acne surgery. Scars can also be excised and sutured and closed and then the, 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 the healed area can be lasered. This is a strategy that takes several months to actually execute. You don't do necessarily everything at once. You don't get everything done at once. And as is with, especially with the field of regenerative medicine, you treat, you observe, and then you strategize. So it's very important that you identify a doctor that you feel comfortable with and you're willing to work with and who's willing to work with you with the stipulation that you don't want any injectable fillers. That being said, once you find a doctor, you will get an understanding of level of expected improvement and, and for yourself and the doctor, define what is success. For me, I always try to help patients get, define success simply by one word, improvement. If there is improvement, that is success. And we work together to try to maximize that improvement. If you want to have something that's simply unrealistic, which I doubt, then you're, 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 you're going to end up disappointed. But if you want to see improvement and you want to see the, the particular scars that really bother you improve, bring that to the attention to the doctor and move forward from that point on. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question. Thank you.